welcome to my youtube channel today in this video i am going to show you how you can import option chain data from nsindia.com today specially I, I i will deal with nifty 50 but in this process you can import for bank nifty as well as for any stock any fno stock uh, option chain data into your python terminal so without delay let's begin let me open pycharm now let's create a new directory called option chain now under this directory let me create a python file called option chain in this video i am going to use request and pandas so let me import both the module and uh, to import the option chain data we need an url for the option chain data so let me go to the browser to find out the url actually i am importing the data from nsindia.com so let's go to the site let's go to the market data and option chain now it's nifty index data so let me inspect the page to get the api go to the network tab let me re reload the page so that all the api will come now let's find the api for option chain now here it is let's open in a new tab to understand the data structure look in this uh, single link you can get all the expiry data related to nifty so in in this process you can search for any stock or bank nifty this is the same process where you can get the master link for all the expiry data related to that particular script let me copy the url and paste it here let's try to import the url uh, by taking the request dot get url let's, let's try to print actually NS India website does not allow you to import in this manner so you have to specify the headers and cookies so to get the headers and cookies we need to go to the browser so let's terminate the process and let's let's go to the browser to find out the headers and cookies in the header tab we will copy the user agent so let's copy it and paste it into the header variable let's reformat it as required now we need to copy another two variable that is you accept encoding and accept language now let's create a session so for that let's take a variable session equal to ses request dot session now request equal to session dot get url comma headers equal to headers let's check the response print request so yes the response is 200 so it's connected with the nsa india website now we have to add the cookie value to extract the data from this url so let's cookies is equal to it's a dictionary value so dix bracket request dot cookies let's print the cookies it's coming so there is no issue now we just add the cookie value into the url and try to import 
response equal to session dot get url comma headers equal to header and cookies equal to cookies let's print the response yes the response is 401 so it, it it's working now in this url we have a json value so dot json it will print the all the data from the url so up to here we can able to import all the data from this url into our python terminal now we have to understand the data structure for that we will take a variable raw data equal to pd data frame response so that we can understand in a better way let's print it now look at here two attributes are there records and filter in filter part only this uh, weekly expiry data is available so we will concentrate on filter part let me print the filter data so let's run yeah it's it's working nicely now in the data part all near expiry data is available so we will import the data no data filter data so here it is now let's uh, create a data frame let's copy it and take the raw option chain that is raw op is equal to pd dot data frame and this variable let's print it here it is so there are two option call and put there may exist some nand value to replace the nand value with zero we will use dot fill the zero it will replace the nand value to zero now let's create a new function which will give us the raw op option chain data into our all known format let me define data frame and we will pass the variable raw option into it let's take an empty variable that is data we will store all the information in data now let me define the variable call oi call oi change put oi and put oi change and initialize by zero let find the strike price strike price is equal to raw op strike price i that is ith strike price now we will check whether the data is zero or not if it is null value then we will assign all the variable to zero and else we will take the variable from the url now let's take the call y and call y change and let's introduce the call ltp also initialized by zero and this is all about call and now the same thing will happen for put just replace the call by put now this data will store into a array that is option chain option data and here call y as call y and call y change as call coi like that and ltp and strike price and also put y put change y put ltp let's append the option chain data into the data variable 
now option chain equal to pd data frame data and return option chain so this function will return the option chain data into is its well known format now option chain equal to data frame raw op and let's print option chain now it looks nice like the option chain table now we want to access only the call y then just you have to add call y let's print the call y it's it's working now if i want to get the sum of all call y <coughs> the total call y equal to option chain call y dot sum it will add all call y into the option chain y so now we'll do for the same for put y and print now we'll print call y and put y now it's working nicely now let take the difference between call y and put y so that we can understand the trend of nifty that is total put y minus total call y let's print it's negative that is nifty may be in bearish trend so let's take a function that is main function and we will call main function after 5 uh, minutes or 10 minutes and we will record the data then how do you do that while let me add import time now let's take 5 second and check whether it is working or not it will print the data in every 5 second it's working nicely so let's reformat it let's run the file again look it is printing after each 5 second the program will call the api and it will print the data for open interest change anyway thanks for watching my video